right, boys and girls, good morning. It's not a morning, it's actually evening, but welcome to the new video. I promised you the recipes, and every single time that I like plan to film some recipes, I never do. And today I came a little bit earlier home, so this video it's only gonna be uh, recipes. Two recipes though, but uh, already preparing a couple of more. Either it's gonna be on the daily vlogs, some new recipes, or next time. Again, I'm gonna import just uh, like two different recipes. This time we're gonna have a two sweet recipes. So maybe next time I can do two savory recipes. Uh, put the comments down below what you prefer. Like in the end of the vlog to put one recipe or have a normal videos and then here and there every like two second or third video basically to provide a recipes for you because I'm building my web page and most of these things is gonna be on my web page with full ingredients and everything so you can check it out. With that said, what we're gonna do is two recipes, I already said, okay, uh, two sweet recipes and two simple recipes. So the first one is gonna be a protein uh, blueberry cake, let's just say like that. And the second one is gonna be a protein peanut butter brownie, uh, let's say. So first we're gonna start with a cake. So first and foremost, you need a bowl, mixing bowl, to mix all the ingredients and then pour into this, uh, in, which you're gonna bake in the oven. But I'm immediately actually gonna put everything in this because I'm already preparing a couple of more recipes and everything is all around the place. So I'm gonna try to put everything inside and mix it inside. With that said, this recipe, all the macros and calories serving is gonna be in the, the video. You can spread in a couple of servings, you can spread in one serving, doesn't matter. We are starting with the ingredients. So, Let's first say what we need for ingredients. Well, I'm using Chobani Zero Sugar Vanilla uh, Greek Yogurt. I will say that's the best one. You can buy it almost in every single store. So go for that one if you can. Uh, then we need the eggs, two whole eggs. Then the next thing we're gonna need is a baking powder, just a little tablespoon of baking powder just for, you know, extra fluffiness and shit. Then we're gonna need a cornstarch that we people are usually afraid, but we're only gonna have a 20 grams of a cornstarch. Uh, then we're gonna need a, a vanilla extract and I'm actually gonna use as well that thing that they are using in Starbucks, sugar-free vanilla for a coffee. It uh, adds some extra flavor inside and we're gonna also need a 100 gram grams of a blueberries. And we also gonna need ghost. All of my recipes, guys, are made with the ghost. Uh, basically, that's what makes my recipes better than anyone else because ghost protein powder has a specific flavor and adds a lot of flavor to every meal. So with that said, with this meal kind of vanilla flavory blueberry, -ish, I will use a, a, that blueberry pancake batter that they have a uh, or toaster batter, something like that, but uh, they don't have it on anymore in the warehouse. So with this one, I will say the perfect with vanilla will go cereal milk, go cereal milk. And we're gonna need one, or actually we're gonna need 20 grams only of that. With that said, starting with the making recipe, because it's really simple, not a lot of ingredients, you can find everything in the stores, Walmart, AGB, uh, Kroger, Aldi, whatever you want, I don't know, but yeah. Anyways, we're gonna start with the 200 grams of uh, uh, this Chobani Zero Sugar uh, Vanilla Greek Yogurt. Okay, dog. Oh God, uh, I threw it on the floor. Then we're gonna add two whole eggs, guys. You can use white ones, you can use uh, brown ones. I'm, uh, you know, like organic guys, so trying to use organic ones. We're gonna add a little bit of both. You can just use vanilla extract, but I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract and, as I said, a little bit of this sugar-free vanilla for the coffee adds a lot of flavor. I like it, so, you know, it is what it is. Teaspoon of baking powder, just like that, a little bit. See, I'm fast. I'm trying to be really fast. Then we're gonna need a 20 grams of a cornstarch. 20 grams of a ghost cereal milk, protein powder. Even though it's only 20 grams, adds a lot of flavor, guys. The last part, we're gonna add 100 grams of blueberries. You can go with the bananas if you want. You can go with the uh, strawberries, with whatever you want. You can mix that around. Don't mix the uh, protein powder. You need to buy ghost because you know, and also you can use my code, save yourself 20%, which is like 
looks amazing. Mix that all around. You should put a parchment paper in this, but I put a, I don't have it anymore. Always when, that's what I'm saying. Always when I'm preparing recipes, I'm actually not ready. And usually all of my recipes are more or less out of my head on the spot. So like, I don't plan how that's gonna look like or whatever, I just get an idea. Uh, and in my head, it sounds good usually, or I just check some recipes around the internet and then I just swap some ingredients, uh, use my ingredients, use a ghost protein powder and uh, makes a lot of change, right? I'm not a recipe stealer. I can co copy from someone something, but all of these recipes are exactly my recipes. With that said, we can double this as a serving. So everything that I put on the screen, all the, in the grams and everything, you can basically double it. You can make it from like more servings or you can make it for a whole week, literally. This is it, this is basically it. This is how it looks like. It's gonna pour all over. But with that said, our oven is already preheated. We're gonna need to put it in a oven for like from 40 to 50 minutes, I'll let you know on uh, 350 degrees. Putting this in the oven and we'll check in in like 40 minutes. Just like that, that meal is in the oven and then let's start preparing the next meal. We are back. The meal is in the oven, just perfect because the first one needs to be like around 50 minutes and this second one needs to be around 25 to 30 minutes. So it's gonna be perfect until we finish this. Uh, we have a 10 minutes to finish. So we can put in all of those two meals basically gonna be prepared at the same time. That's a pro tip for you. Okay, so we have a protein uh, peanut butter brownie, let's just say. So uh, ingredients that we're gonna need is uh, PB fit for this, peanut butter powder. We're gonna need, uh, again, eggs, actually one whole egg, a little bit again of baking powder, a little bit of vanilla extract or that coffee vanilla thing. Uh, we're gonna need uh, five grams of cocoa powder instead of uh, stevia. This time it should be better if we use the swerve, the brown sugar. Uh, just for a better consistency. You can still use stevia if you can find that, but that's also zero calories, so you can use that one. It's, it's kind of gives a better flavor. Also, we're gonna need a one medium banana. And of course, as I said, we are making everything with the ghost recipes. So for this to be the most perfect, we're gonna use a ghost peanut butter cereal milk. I'm gonna use the vegan one, but they have both vegan and a normal one. I just I actually like both flavors, but vegan kind of digest better for me, so you can use uh, both of those. And let's just start preparing the meal. So, first things first, we're gonna need a bowl. This time I washed this one, so we're gonna pour it in another, another thing, but we're gonna need one banana. It should be a ripped one, because uh, you need to mash it, so... I mean, it doesn't matter, but yeah. So, we're gonna mash that banana. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you how I'm mashing banana because if you don't know how to do that, then you're probably stupid. Okay, now the next thing, we're gonna need 40 grams of a peanut, of a powdered peanut butter. Uh, but before that, you need to pour either water, a little bit of milk, just to make a running consistency. Not too runny though. I already did that, mix it. I actually mix it with the, uh, almond milk. You can do it with the water. I'm bulking, so as I said, you can customize your, you can double these recipes in a, in a servings, you can even uh, put half of less. But uh, most of these actually recipes are pretty decent, solid meal. Either there is a bulk, either there is a cut actually, because they are not so high in calories, but they are approximately 400 calories, both of these meals. So I'll say it's more like a cutting meal, cutting dessert than a bulking meal. But as I said, if you bulk like me, then you can go, way higher do a double basically of everything and yeah then mix that around banana and then pb fit then we're gonna add one whole egg again a little bit of vanilla coffee extra you don't have to use it as i already said you can use just vanilla extract you don't even have to use vanilla extract if you don't want but it adds a flavor okay bit of a baking powder, just a little pinch. Also in this meal, we're gonna add a pinch of a salt, pink salt, also to enhance 
additional flavor just like that then we're gonna add five grams of uh, cocoa powder it's more also like a, for a density of the meal you don't even need to add this or you can do this fully like a chocolatey brownie and you can use a chocolate ghost i just wanted to and add more cocoa instead of bb fit but i honestly wanted to uh, do like this more like peanut butter style because i love peanut butter then as i said you can use normal stevia but i will recommend this because it's it's just added a, a little bit of extra that brownie flavor and you can also add if you really want a consistency a little bit of butter inside i'm not gonna do that right now because we are trying to make this recipe basically macro friendly right and we're gonna have a whole scoop peanut butter cereal milk since it's, this, it's a vegan it has a little bit of less protein so this whole spoon is gonna be 35 grams and yeah that's basically it we just need to mix it if you want to add some extra calories carbs whatever as a book uh, like for a book you can of course add some chocolate chips inside literally whatever you want so this brought us a perfect brownie consistency let me just show you this is the consistency really thick and now we have a last move to do which is put that in a, our skillet or whatever we're gonna use and put it in the oven pour that mixture in the bowl that you're gonna put it in the oven you can use a, actually the perfect will be a cake that cake pan you know that you can open i unfortunately don't have it if you like this kind of videos i'm definitely gonna invest a little bit more in the kitchen supplies and uh, try to provide as best content as I can if you really like this recipe because guys I really love I enjoy cooking I make recipes every single day I always find some new ideas but I just don't post so much because whole internet took over with the recipes and uh, you know I kind of don't want to be one of those followers of uh, you know where everyone goes I'm going but um, I definitely gonna have all of those recipes on my webpage. page lick the bowl which is gonna be really soon i'm really excited for that there's literally that this how it looks and now this one goes from 25 to 30 minutes on 375 degrees so other meal is already in the oven literally has been left 30 minutes and it's on 350 so i'm gonna put it on 350 for 30 minutes and basically both of those recipes gonna show you right after they are done Now one big mistake guys, uh, why it looks all around the place, because it stick, stick to the volume, because I didn't have a parchment paper and I didn't have that uh, like uh, for a cake that you can just open and then it's so simple to get out of this. In the end it still end up being perfect but uh, uh, it will be better, don't put it just on the volume because it's gonna stick to it. But anyways it's done, I didn't even try this recipe, this is the first time that I'm trying this and as I said you can play with that as much as you want you can top all of all of both of those with ice creams with a uh, fat free whipped cream with a chocolate chips with whatever your heart wants additional powder pb2 uh i don't know cocoa powder whatever you want normal peanut butter it'll be great so with that said we have a both meals uh, here and i actually do have a fat free whipped cream so i'm gonna try one bite of each uh, plain and then one bite with a fat free with cream you saw it on the screen how it looks just one more time to show you as i said it got stuck with uh, with that uh, paper so it didn't like doesn't look so great i'm drooling right now so it's like this one is really moisty this is how it looks blueberry is it zoomed yeah this is how it looks blueberries inside as i said you can play with the fruits as well so 
taste test for you guys. Oh lord. Oh damn. You need to guys try this one. This taste is like really, really fresh. I'm gonna give one more bite with a fat free with cream. Just like that. Cheers. To be honest, both is good, but this one, I'll leave it eat plain because it's really moisty because of those blueberries. So with that said, for this whole serving, for this cake, with all the ingredients that we have, uh, the calories and macros gonna be listed on the screen right now. That one, real love it. I'll rate it, oof, if, oh, this is really fresh. I don't know, it's really high. It's like eight or nine out of 10. I really like this one. And I'm rating it, as I said, because this is the first time trying. Now we have this uh, protein PB2 brownie. Also consistency end up being perfect. Only got stuck once again to that volume. That's my fault, but everything else perfect. Once again, I'm gonna give you a taste test. Oh, that's also moisty. This is like a real brownie consistency. I can already see, I didn't try this one but I can already see from like cross section. Okay, let's go. Ooh, this one, hmm. this one is also fire. I can't lie, this one is also fire. One, one with the, this PB, the uh, fat baby cream. Mm. Mm. Wow. This one though, I'll definitely recommend with the fat baby cream. Definitely uh, it gives that extra juiciness to it. Or add some even extra peanut butter or something on the top, drizzle that. I can do it. I'm probably gonna do it because I'm bulking. So with that said, this brownie, whole serving for a whole brownie, Calories and it's pretty big, almost like a whole plate. This calories are gonna be on the screen right now. And that's basically gonna be it, guys. Uh, to rate this one, this one will be eight out of 10. And that one now after this one will be nine out of 10. Honestly, I like that one more because it's more moisty. It has more like a, it's really, really nice. It really tastes like a cake. And uh, it really surprised me because I'm a huge uh, fan of uh, like brownies, cookies, everything that is chocolate peanut butter. But that one surprised me more. So for that, I'm gonna give nine out of 10. For this one, I'm gonna be, give eight out of 10. Love them both. Give it a try, tag me. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, like it. And comment down below, what you do you want more videos like this? As I said, do you want separate just cooking videos or in the end of the vlogs? Put the comments down below, I'll try to provide it for you. Not try, I'm gonna provide it for you. And um, whoever is new to the channel, we're on the road to 20K. Like, share, subscribe. That's one second. Tell everyone around you, dogs, cats, everyone. And um, enjoy your recipes. Try it out and enjoy. Thank you guys for watching and see you very soon as always on the next one.